This is an insanely fast way to boost your FBS and reduce FBS stutters. So the first thing we're going to be using is Atlas OS, which is a modification for Windows. I will have it linked in the description, but basically download the Atlas playbook and the AME wizard file. Now, before we continue, we're gonna be using a restore point just in case anything goes wrong or we wanna undo all these tweaks. Once you have that open, go ahead and just click on create. You guys can name this whatever you want. And basically we should be set. If anything goes wrong, we can just open up the restore and it should bring us back to this exact point. Okay, so now we're going to open up the AME wizard beta file. Go ahead and open up the application as well. And this is what it should look like. So basically, you guys want to go ahead and open up the playbook file now and simply just drag in the playbook file over here. You guys should be seeing the Atlas OS playbook. Now we're going to have to disable our security. This is 100% safe, but basically we need to disable it so it can go ahead and change some window settings that help with improving our performance. So go ahead and click run action. Now click open window security and you guys want to turn off the first four. Once that is set, it should say window security is disabled and you guys can go ahead and just X this out. Now you guys want to go ahead and click next. Now analyzing your windows and seeing what to configure and what to optimize. Basically just going to check all the requirements and it should say requirements met. Click next. These are like the agreement stuff. So you guys can click next, click agree. And you should be seeing the configure options over here. It's basically just going to show you a bunch of windows options that help improve your FPS especially with reducing FPS stutters. And it's manually just gonna set the best option for your windows, but you guys can go ahead and just change things up. So over here we have disabling defender and basically we're gonna enable defender, which is recommended. Click next, disabling mitigations, next. And we have core isolation, which you guys wanna make sure to disable. Since if you have it enabled, it does reduce your performance. So it's already defaulted on disabling it. So click next. Now over here, we have like a bunch of Bluetooth stuff, and power saving, and basically I use Bluetooth and printing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uncheck those, but disabling power saving is really important for me. Basically what you guys wanna do is maximize the power usage. It's gonna help with your performance. So click next. We have disabling hibernation, disabling automatic updates, removing snipping tool. I use the snipping tool so I can go ahead and just uncheck that. But disabling hibernation is really helpful and automatic updates. Next, we have disabling notifications, removing Microsoft Edge, install browser. I personally think you guys should uncheck the last two if you do use Microsoft Edge or installing a new browser. But disabling notifications is really helpful since you guys don't want like notifications in the background, obviously, right? So click OK. And there we go. We have all required configurations completed. Now you guys just want to go ahead and click next. And it's basically just applying all the settings you've just done. And that should be set. You just got to wait for this to finish applying and you are set to go.